Hello students, welcome to the topic of Community Organization and Leadership. Today's lesson is Ideology of Community Organization and Community Initiatives. In this, let us try to understand the ideology of community organization, the different models of community organization, various approaches to community organization and community initiatives. The early attempts in community organization were an outcome of the serious problems that is problem of unemployment, poverty, etc. faced by the communities. Thus grew up many organizations and social agencies to provide support to the community. Soon it was realized that all these efforts need to be coordinated and streamlined so as to avoid duplication of work and to reduce the gap in the delivery of services to the community. The fundamental aspect of the community organizations is the principle of cooperative spirit which promotes the people to unite together to address a common issue. Community organization recognizes the spirit of democratic values and principles with the focus on creating democratic involvement. Organizing is about empowering. When people unite together and get involved in community organization, this empowerment comes when people learn skills to help themselves and others. The collective action helps in community building. The community organization recognizes the power of individual. It believes that through the collective strength of the people, better teamwork and adoption of scientific methods can provide comprehensive solution to social problems. Another philosophy is that of coordination. It is concerned with adjustments and interrelations of the forces in the community life for common welfare. Community organization is therefore a continuous process in which adjustments are made and remade to keep pace with the changing conditions of community life. Community organization is a process and is all about solving the present day problems of common interests by means of adopting democratic principles and people's participation. People have used this method in the past and have attained desired results. Thus, it is important for the students of community organization to understand the past, draw lessons from it, and develop and experiment with new models and methods required to work with community. Let us see the history of community organization in India. A historical account of community organization is not available in India as there has been only limited documentation on community organization. Community organization has its roots in the charity organizations in the United States. In India, the very concept of charity is deep rooted in the religious philosophy. Even before the commencement of the social work education in India in 1936, the community work was in place already in existence. But in the first phase, from 1936 to 1952, the community work was in a dormant stage. Professionals preferred to work in casework settings. It was in 1952 that the community development project was launched by the government of India. And with this, we find the emergence of a new era of community work. The basic objective of community development in India was to awaken the rural people of their needs, instilling in them a sense of ambition for better life and making them aware of their right and power to find a solution for their problems. According to Mukherjee, community development can be divided into two processes, extension education and community organization. Extension education was expected 
to improve the quality of human beings by improving his or her knowledge and skills. For community organization, Mukherjee had in mind the setting up of three institutions in the village. First, village panchayat, village cooperative and village school. From 1970 onwards, we could see a new trend in the community work practice. The social workers expanded their scope and operational area from their traditional approach of casework to other development fields. For example, people working with school children started working with the community. The NGOs and voluntary organizations adopted community approach. This shift has in fact led to the use of process of community work. By and large, the community work has remained welfare oriented. The current phase of community work in India is experiencing a growing dissatisfaction with its own practice or rather the outcome of its practice. So efforts are on to create alternate ways of working with communities. In spite of these, the professionals are involved in a variety of projects in both rural and urban areas to promote better living for the community. Another trend in the community work is the involvement of the business houses in promoting welfare in their neighborhood. This is commonly known as CSR, Corporate Social Responsibilities. The business houses, that is Tata's, Escort's, and some of the multinational companies too have joined in this venture. This trend has attracted many professionals in this field. The main objective of community development is to develop village communities by methods which will stimulate, encourage and aid villagers themselves to do much of the work necessary to accomplish the desired goals. The changes conceived and promoted should have the involvement of the people and should be acceptable by them and put into practice by them. Next is Gandhian concept to community organization. The emphasis of Gandhian concept of community organization is the reconstruction of the community rather than on organizing of an unorganized or disorganized community or on the development of entirely a new community. Therefore, the Gandhian objective of community organization is to reconstruct the village communities spread all over the country. Gandhi aims to realize his goal of reconstructing the Sarvodaya social order. Gandhi has not given any specific or fixed pattern for the reconstruction program, but left it to the capacity of those community organizers and to suit to the different conditions and social situations. In this approach, the worker takes initiatives and gradually stimulates the community. It is important to have a theoretical framework to work in the community. This theoretical framework facilitates the worker to adopt strategies and helps him choose the type of focus he or she wants to maintain in the professional practice. Rotham has given three models of practice. First, locality development. It is a method of working with community groups. It was earlier used by the settlement houses. Here, the important focus is about the process of community building, leadership development, and the education of the participants are the essential elements in the process. It aims at meeting the needs of the target population in a defined area. Example, neighborhood development, road development of a block area, etc. Second, social planning. It is a method of working with a large population. The focus is in evaluating welfare needs and existing services in the area and planning a possible blueprint for a more efficient delivery of services to the social problems. It is a responsive model to the needs and attitudes of the community. 
example, housing, health insurance, affordable education, etc. Third, social action. It is a strategy used by groups or sub-communities or even national organizations that feel that they have inadequate power and resources to meet their needs. So, they confront with the power structure using conflict as a method to solve their issues related to inequalities and deprivation. Example, a structural systems change in social policies that bring disparities between people of different socio-economic conditions in social rights like educational policies, employment policies, etc. The history has witnessed diversity of efforts in community organization and the emergence of new initiatives in the field. Most often, these community organizing efforts are centered on identity communities and issue-specific communities. History gives us a list of different kinds of community organizing methods. One such community organizing method which the 20th century has witnessed is the growth of neighborhood organizing. It is one form of community organizing. This is nothing but an effort by the community to solve the day-to-day -day problems and help those in need. There are three kinds of approaches to neighborhood organizing. The social work approach, political activist approach, neighborhood maintenance or community development approach. The social work approach. In this approach, the society is viewed as a social organism and therefore the efforts are oriented toward building a sense of community. The community organizer whose role is of an enabler or an advocate helps the community identify a problem in the neighborhood and strives to achieve the needed social resources by gathering the existing social resources and by lobbying with some in power to meet the needs of the neighborhood. This method is more consensual and the neighborhood is seen as a collective client. One example of this approach is the social settlement movement in USA and war on poverty program of the Johnson administration in 1960s. Next approach, the political activist approach. Saul Alinsky, the godfather of community organizing is the founder of this approach. He emerged as a community organizer in 1930s. The basic philosophy of this approach is based on his thinking that more representative the organization, the stronger the organization. In this approach, the community is seen as political entity and not as a social organism. Here, the neighborhood is viewed as a potential power base capable of getting power. The role of the community organizer is to help the community understand the problem in terms of power and necessary steps are taken to mobilize the community. The problem of the neighborhood is always identified as absence of power and in the interest of gaining power for the neighborhood, the organizers are faced with conflicts with groups, interests and elites. Since most of the community organizers come from outside the community, it has faced the problems of equality of power relations and leadership in the community. Unlike the social work approach to community organization, this approach has the potential to create stable, democratic and effective organizations of neighborhood residents by seeing its role as meeting power with power. Next, neighborhood maintenance or community development approach. This approach has emerged out of both the previous approaches. It is seen in the form of civic associations. This association uses peer group pressure to provide services in the community. They use this strategy to pressurize the officials to deliver services to the community, but sometimes this approach 
takes the form of political activist approach as they realize that their goals can only be achieved only through confrontations. In this approach, we see the characteristics of de-emphasis on dissent and confrontation and these organizations view themselves as more proactive and development minded. The community initiative concept is an integrated bottom-up socio-economic development concept which is based on full community involvement supported through intersectoral collaboration. Community initiatives often function as catalyst for change in which community members and organizations work together to improve the quality of life. It is a self-sustained people-oriented strategy that addresses the diverse basic needs of the community. Community initiatives are complex and ever-changing. Community initiatives help to launch interventions that are planned and implemented by community members. The most salient aspects of this approach are the organization, mobilization and enhancement of community capabilities and involvement in micro-development through social and income generating schemes. These have an impact on basic needs which constitute the most powerful determinants of good health, quality of life and productivity. Most CIs contain several or all of the elements and aim to achieve synergy among them. Expansion and improvement of social services and supports such as child care, youth development, health care, economic development, adult education, establishing community based information centers, supporting agriculture and livestock projects and quality of life activities such as recreation projects, etc. Let us see the first community initiative. Initiatives from within the community. Community programs that are planned and implemented by community members are the initiatives from within the community. The development of community is a dynamic process involving all segments of the locality. The key component to this process is found in the creation and maintenance of channels of interaction and communication among diverse local groups that are otherwise directed toward their more individual interests. By facilitating interaction and developing relationships, these diverse individuals interact and begin to mutually understand common needs. Initiative within the community paves way to consistent interaction and channels of communication can be established and maintained. During the process of residence and group interacting, the capacity for local action emerges. This capacity is often referred to as community agency. Agency is therefore reflected in the capacity of people to manage, utilize and enhance those resources available to them in addressing local issues. Community exists in the collective actions of its members. These collective actions allow residents to all ages and backgrounds to participate in the creation, articulation and implementation of efforts to support local change. Through this process of interaction, the collection of individuals creates an entity whose whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Let us see the examples of community initiatives from within the community. First, Sri Mahila Griha Udyog Lijjad Papad. It is popularly known as Lijjad. It is an Indian women's cooperative involved in manufacturing of various fast moving consumer goods. The organization's main objective is empowerment of women by providing them employment opportunities. 
started in the year 1959 with a seed capital of 80 rupees Lijith has an annual turnover of around 6.5 billion rupees in 2010 with 290 million rupees in exports it provides employment to around 43,000 people in 2015 now Lijith is headquartered in Mumbai and has 81 branches and 27 divisions all over India. Next, initiative from outside the community. A process of strategic planning through partnerships between local government and NGOs for the community is an initiative from outside the community. Its objective is to stimulate people to promote sustained development in a local community. It focuses on the local needs and identifies potentialities specifically. However, this will be preceded by an elaborate exercise aimed at organizing and mobilizing the community with an emphasis on their enhanced awareness of critical issues, active participation and self-reliance. It is also a process that brings together resources from within and outside the community to address these challenges and to promote economic growth in a systematic and organized manner at the local level. Local representatives, district authorities and public sector line departments contribute and complement each other in program implementation. Representatives from various line departments constitute the community initiatives intersectoral teams which are instrumental in providing the requisite guidance in building local organizations to enhance community involvement. The teams offer technical assistance in priority areas for community action related to the critical issues. These teams vigilantly support the implementation process of carefully selected interventions and develop an interactive working relationship with village or community representatives. They also constitute the bridge that conveys community concerns and perceived needs and priorities to the relevant line departments of the district government. CI teams are thus helpful in generating the trust and confidence necessary for building a social partnership between the government and civil society organizations. The example of this community initiative is Vatvriksha. Das founded Vatvriksha after being disillusioned by a life many others would aspire to lead. Das decided to quit his job at IBM, return to his roots in Odisha to pursue the path of building a better India, starting with helping the indigenous tribes, the Adivasi, that he had grown up alongside. To really understand their needs and gain their trust, Das took an even bigger leap. He moved in with the locals two to three months in each village and communicated extensively with the village elders. And that's when he launched the social enterprise Wat Riksha with the goal of bringing the marginalized and vulnerable tribal groups together and to empower them, especially the women. Tribal women do everything. They are the homemakers and also the breadwinners, explains Das. They travel miles for drinking water and do the agriculture work as well. His enterprise works to help by finding them alternate sustainable livelihood. Some of the ways Das is making that happen is by establishing market connectivity between the remote villages and larger towns as well as providing financial and economic consulting. Vatvriksha also promotes tribal art to mainstream society, emphasizing their innovative design and organic materials, while educating those in the village about importance of saving and financial literacy. Vatvriksha's microfinance initiative is a holistic structured program that runs Malayashan every Sunday where they track the women's progress and nurture the entrepreneurial spirit in the members. Social entrepreneurship is considered a sunken boat option, he adds, describing 
the level of disinterest in the non-profit sector in India. Despite being a country of great wealth, India is also a place with widespread poverty and a mindset that hasn't evolved beyond intermittent donations as a way to address issues. Finding more innovative, sustainable, long-term solutions is not the norm. Nevertheless, Das is hopeful for the next decade. This is all about the ideology of community organization and the community initiatives. Any questions? Hello ma'am, I am Roja. I have a question. What is meant by casework? Social casework is building a relationship between community organizer and people with dynamic interaction of attitudes and emotions with the purpose of helping the people to achieve a better adjustment between himself and his or her environment. Any more questions? Well then, this is all about ideology of community organization and community initiatives. Thank you.